What has been important is still with that data showing the actors in New Orleans, the Criminal Justice Leadership Alliance, for example, how long it takes a detainee to even get charged in, um, in the city for the DA to file a formal charge. And for years it was 45 days for a misdemeanor and 60 days for a felony. So that when you're in jail in New Orleans for that first period, you're not, you're not even pre-trial, you're pre-charge. Um, and you know, I think they all knew that. That's codified in Louisiana law. But sort of showing their case flow, how people move through the system, at what speed, and, and incredibly importantly for New Orleans, at what cost, uh, was very important. So that's not, it's not a hugely sophisticated piece of research. It's not a random control trial. There's no Greek symbols in there. Um, but that use of their own data was very important in moving the conversation. It's been really helpful because it takes a lot of the sort of ideology and preconceptions out of uh, conversations. You know, this is a very political issue, as you know, and, uh, you know, we try to do this in as non-political a way as possible, and so we tend to rely on numbers and data. Tricky in New Orleans because they don't have great numbers and data, but the data they do have, and it's getting a little more robust as we speak, uh, really helpful in focusing people on how their system works or doesn't work and what either the public safety or financial costs of you know, in the jail case, having too many people in jail for too long. So very important.